though, is that over this past year, through the Panda Cup that has been running all year, he has come so, so hey. close to qualifying at tons of tournaments in a row. And now he's got a really good chance to do it here at Let's Make Moves Miami because there is one spot up for that. And I think everybody that is in winners has already qualified. So if Samba can just continue to make this run, he might finally earn that spot. We'll see what happens as they are going off. All right. <laughs> I love this. All right. All right. All right. Got to have some extra fun, guys. Thank you guys so much for not only tuning in, but the crowd having that energy, bringing up all they can and what they could do best here. But I don't want to waste any more time. We're going to be able to get into this first set in winners, by the way, which, okay. Whoa. I mean, come on. I was going to say, so far, these two sets that we have in winners are very interesting because there's actually no set history between both of the sets that we have here. Yeah, Zamba's fought against a couple of Steves, but not against Onan yet. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see how he tackles this particular play style. We saw him almost immediately get a stock. Now Onan trying to work on that himself. Getting bounced into the corner here, though, with oh. very few materials, no iron to speak of. So he's going to have to be creative in getting down and does, but oh, Zombo oh, oh, back oh. in the lead. Oh, the fact that he shimmy shaded his way past the blaster when he did recover up high and still avoid the side B when he went below the ledge was scary. Quite literally uh, in a different level when it comes to trying to play the squid games. I mean, I see him with the <laughs> anvil now forcing his way down. Zamba with the off wall tag. I know we just came back from the Odyssey out here, but he's the one saying goodbye to that first stock. I was about to say, you're talking about those tags. Zamba, though, going to have to fight from a deficit here. Onan is sitting at 135, so there are plenty of win conditions for Zamba to take this first stock. Obviously, you've got the grab. You've got tons of stray aerials that can do it as well. Oh. Maybe even something custom off of the block, but Onan is ready to bounce right out of there. You know, it's interesting. I, I highlighted the different places that we get to witness a high level for Snake, but some, same thing can be said about the Steves. And it's nice that we have so many Steves at this tournament because you could definitely see it on display right here. Onan versus Akula when it comes to what we had seen in Ludwigs is a different type of approach to the character. And Onan, you can see right now, trying to not only build up, no, he's not building as much of these walls, but getting caught in these aerials when it comes to dealing with Zaba as he loses that first stock to the side beam. And that arm rotor going to put in overtime for Zamba as long as he can lock down where that recovery is going to come from Onan, who is right on top of him. Great mash gets Zamba to keep that stock at 96%. Uh, well, it's Rob. I was about to say, we might see him <laughs> actually get it first. Absolutely. Yeah, we've seen it before, but he gets the follow-up off of the minecart. Just propped up. 21%, so no rage really that uh, Onan's really working off of, minus the 145 that Zamba's got. He's a thick boy, okay? He's a robot at the end of the day. Rob, big? Oh, yeah, I mean, what are you talking Is about? It big? It's, it's Is thick. it true? You saw it? Not down with the thickness right there. He got caught with the up smash. Oh. And what a taste of your own medicine. Your head poking out underneath the platform while you're on top of the block, so you get caught by these down tilts. And, and perfectly safe for Zamba there, too, but not feeling so safe and cuddly at the moment with Onan. Really building up the damage on that last stock. 82% and one more big follow-up could spell the end of this game. Oh, Tech my. And oh, hit. no way. He was ready double time. Says, don't catch me sleeping, but you caught me on my landing, so I've got to escort my way out. Rock him to bed in that game one. And you, like you said, amazing that Zamba was even ready for that, but he had to be because Rob is one of the only characters that can tech that and still get hit afterwards because, again, he's, he's a rather large frame, if you will. But Onan does fight his way into the beginning of that game one. And I think the key thing that we're lacking here is that Zamba just hasn't had the best control of the game. Normally, he's the one that wants to initiate things, but again, having to sort of deal with what the Steve is throwing at him first, it's kind of thrown him off his game, and he hasn't been able to match the damage output we usually see from him. And you also have to think about sneaking your projectiles in through the, the barrier that Onan's going to be able to create. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. Literally. Exactly. A situation like that where, I mean, obviously that's that early damage that you could go on uh, skating through, but then you see a situation like this where Onan's going to be able to immediately reverse the situation. He's already tacked on 45% and climbing when it's only been, what, 20 seconds that's passed on the clock? <laughs> and Rob's saying, because <laughs> he's getting his mind I, twisted oh, around. That was that was interesting. I also had the, the anvil right there to act as like a makeshift block before climbing all the way up. It's like the oh. stairs that he's making himself as he catches another landing on the upset, a zero to death already in this game too. 30 seconds to take the stock and without getting hit in return, Zaba does finally find one in, but can he turn it into a stock uh, just like Onan did? And it doesn't look like he can. Uh, 
<laughs> Why did he look like that? I don't like the way he looked up like Seeing that. Seeing Steve <laughs> sitting is so cursed. Because that doesn't happen in Minecraft, yeah, but they had to put it here. Yeah, no, they have to. They have to make it look like it. As you see Zombo resetting. Oh, Ooh. great catch right there on the side B. He didn't want to overextend with the up air just in case. Didn't see him. Didn't know if that anvil was going to come in on its way down. But he was able to risk it just in case because he only on 7% for the second stock. Zamba also almost oh. blew himself up on that TNT, trying to pack their own in near the top, but fortunately for Zamba, did not find that own in though. A bit of a reversal with these up tilts, and if there's anything that has defined the way that these first couple of games have been going, uh, Onan's anti air game has been ridiculous. Everything Zama's throwing out is not working. He's tried so much, and even uh, Onan, unfortunately, falling out of over to the side right there, too. Nair's coming in to try to force his way back in. The back air, at least the end part of it, at least forcing Onan by the ledge, but at 170-something, please, you got the gyro out. <laughs> you keep hitting him. He keeps hitting his noggin. High recovery getting caught out here, too, as he tries to float his way by. Says Peter Pan's not here to save you. No Sora on the stage here. Instead, he's going to be able to catch his landing. Craft the diamond, though, for free here. And on the second stock, Zamba's already taken a lot of damage. Yeah, missing the follow-up on the iron block is a big break for Zamba right there because Onan easily could have, with all of that diamond toolage that he's got going on right now, could have done a whole lot more than just 90% to Zamba. Not spaced on that forward wow. smash. So Zamba fires back right now and can rack up even more. The Dark Troll air dodge, though, to maintain center stage. Avoid the up air and the slap it to the face here with the diamond sword. Gonna catch him, and it also saw Zamba coming in right in, cutting him off in the middle of that minecart. Low, low recovery, though, is gonna Ooh. get caught off by the gyro. But Onan once again going high, expecting the arm rotor. Zamba getting a little bit tunnel vision here, and Onan firing back again. <gasps> One hit with that sweet spot forward air, and it can mean the world, but Zamba's going to take him not quite to the skies, but we'll send him back off oh, stage. What a great punish on an overextension right there, too, from Zamba. For, oh, ah. all right, well. Yeah, missing the glide right there. Had to drop out of the elytra, trying to go straight to the ledge because Zamba was threatening that upper area. And now he's got gyro in hand, so anything can happen. It's big scary, especially when you want to go for some of these high recoveries. Stalling a little bit with the anvil before crashing down on top of Zamba. 100% here, but... Doing this and closing out the gap has been a fantastic uh, feat right now for Zamba. I have to see him be able to contest Onan here, though. 65% means that he could indeed take this game, but one catch on a landing from Onan could take it. Is his DI right? It is. Minecraft Steve will live to tell oh. the tale. Oh, catches him with a fair. Cuts him off on the minecart and catches him with another high recovery on the up air. 133, catches him again! Says, put that block away, but amazing DI from Onan. Onan constantly winning the Mario Party minigame that is DI and Grob <laughs> up here. I'm not sure how he keeps on doing it, but at 161, he's holding on for dear life. All the right. Grob just cannot take it. All right, I would think that he's wearing Diamond okay. instead. All right, he gets the grab. That's definitely it right here. Zamba. Taking game number two, said, all right, the first time didn't work, second time didn't work, third time didn't work, don't worry, I'll get this grab, I know this one for sure work. <laughs> <laughs> Zamba's getting like, people are walking <laughs> into the splash zone right now. <laughs> Zamba's like in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Help him. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> game two, though, goes his way, and especially I feel like he just did a really good job of mixing up the ways that he was exiting disadvantage. I think that Onan ate that alive in that game one, but things really turned around in that game two for him. So the set will go back to even. Onan has the counter pick advantage though, and that is a terrifying thing to give Steve. It's just these high recoveries just get kept, kept getting caught off, especially between the side B's that we saw, the up airs a few times too, to control some more of an extra space. Lingering hitbox too from the rotor arms just able to uh, prevent Onan from getting back to the stage for free. Obviously though, you go below that ledge and you're putting yourself in a very risky position with that gigantic down. Ooh, speaking of gigantic, the big up air is putting in a whole lot of work for Zamba. Drag down, adding a bit more damage, but Onan just fires right back with even more off of the one touch. This kid is magic. Oh, the bread and butters too. And he was able to scoop them all the way up to the very tippity top that he could build and, and then finish things off with that up smash. That was beautiful. A lot of damage here as Zamba's trying to force his way back into the stage. Says, all right, thanks for the cover here with the block. Gets that blast so that way he could at least have some breathing room. But Onan's not letting him, chasing him all the way in, even finishing it off with a minecart just in oh. case to control that space. He ran out of gas. 
He was stuck off stage for so long. That was amazing for Monin. It is looking like McLaren's Formula One team because he did not have good fuel management. I said it and I will not regret it. <laughs> oh Onan though, adding on extra damage oh. again off of one hit, 61% and putting him in the magnifying glass. Oh, help him. And he still catches his landing right here. Zamba still trying to contest in the middle of the stage because he's just been stuck on top of not only these blocks, but by the ledge for so long. The anvil, the minecart, pound it around we go with a double spot dodge. He manages to catch it with the up airs. And of course, Onan has demonstrated great DI on these back airs. He is quite familiar with this character at this point. Air dodging right through the up smash, though. An absolutely brave move from Zamba, but it does pay off for him. And that means that the game is even, not even actually, there are two stocks for Onan, only one for Zamba. So scratch that, it's dangerous for Rob. It was that beginning deficit that he had to play off of. And now look at all this extra damage that Onan is now going to be able to tack on. Waiting as well to see where Zamba's going to go before trying to contest him with a fair. Waiting in shield, was ready with the diamond pickaxe. We're going to back here, here too. Diamond at his hand though, expect a lot more of that damage to rack up, but nice high recovery from Onan. The minecart expecting maybe another rotor arms to come out or the up air that he could avoid. Man, Onan just putting on so much pressure in the corner though. Jumping right out of the minecart at the right time too, and he is giving Zamba absolute bits on these landings. Gonna have to mash out quickly, and Onan taking that opportunity actually to just keep on mining and some crispy, clean movement puts Zamba ever closer towards defeat in this game three. Let me in, the minecart making Rob into roadkill, but again, even close. this is a thick boy, right? 144, he's literally trying to find his way into the stage without this blockade of Odin's presence blocking him. Mm -hmm. He's trying to find his way in, but again, behind those blocks, it's tough for Zamba to get things started in 145. Onan doesn't need a whole lot to finish out this game, but you gotta be very, very mindful of Rob. You can't let it go to that last stock, and it just might. Like you said before, we've seen these stocks get stolen early as heck, especially from those rotor arms by the ledge here. See the whiff grab real quick. Back air sneaking his way in. I mean, Zamba's got the rage at, on his favor. I mean, 163 2. Ooh. Here comes the side. He lingering long enough below the ledge for him to take that second stock foot. Like we also highlighted before, there's a whole new stock for him to work with. Gotta avoid that anvil. Uh, this game is not over just yet. Onan certainly at the advantage, but we're talking about a guy like Zamba who has some of the most brutal punishes out of anybody out there, and he is looking. He's hungry. Oh, try to snipe him up above, though. Oh, Diamond's going to be able to connect. 181. No rage for Onan here, really, to work off of. Not as much as he wants to, at least, as the high recovery coming in from Zamba. The backer to maybe gain some distance. It's going to catch him. And it's the thick boy that he's just lingering right above Onan, allowing himself to almost be a sitting duck, because it's not like he's going to get very far here, too. Mm. you got to be so mindful of all of that, especially landing out of that disadvantage, like we've talked about. And on a stage like Small Battlefield, Onan's able to keep things a little bit more compressed and keep up with where the Rob is going. Now we'll have to see with Onan up two games to one. It's it's the battle of uh, it's the battle of like the accounting firm. It's Rob versus Steve. <laughs> hey, can you run this over to the boss real quick? Oh man, we gotta we gotta actually file some papers here. At least some paperwork for this set, because again, we don't have set here's history between these two players. So Did now you it's to gonna be our coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Rob. I can't get to the uh, phone call right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the office. I'm uh, having a brief dispute. Settling it in HR. Can't even make my way into the house. Settle it in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Set a whole ass ad <laughs> gets the side yeah. coming in. Try to get the down to, oh, managed to get it here. Nice high recovery from Onan with the blocks. is going to be able to kind of go right around Zamba, which is what Zamba's been trying to do, but has struggled to do so. Man, and the ability to play around that area that Zamba and Rob especially are just usually so good at covering, right? That area just above the ledge where you have to be afraid of arm rotor, all those things, <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> it's like, ow! Ah. Oh no, he burned his hands. <laughs> Trying to take it out of the oven real quick. That up smash is gonna be able to meet him on the other side of the ledge, 110 now. See the way that Zamba's just playing around Onan space is trying to prevent him from sharking him. He's been also able to try to chase him around with these bullets, oh. but the anvil forcing his way down, not only hitting the gyro out of the way, but also hitting Zamba. And the gyro actually extending the yeah. length that the anvil hovered there actually got Zamba in trouble at 129%. He's actually got enough rage to finish this stock quickly, and nice. he will with that whiffed up smash. Onan getting a little bit too overzealous, trying to catch those landings from Zamba again, doing so there and giving him a huge opening. Trying to catch the jump real quick though. Onan drifting away before utilizing the minecart to get right back into the stage. 
Try to call it a jump with that snipe though, and Onus is gonna hang out right behind this wall instead. To say, I'm gonna have enough time here before trying to extend with the minecart. Zamba playing more, much more out of shield though, which is what I like underneath these platforms. Definitely playing it so much more patiently and forcing Onan to start things up. And that is something that Rob can absolutely eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Gonna have to make his way back on stage with Onan trying to still bite into this first stock and just can't finish his meal. Wow, can't get the drag down the gyro. It'd be one of your own sometimes out here, especially since Onan had control over that originally first before tossing it right back to Zamba. Nice pair into the up smash. Great punish here. 107 and taking advantage of the fact that he's got the rage. And uh, honestly, recognizing that that was oh. a back air high oh. on. How he's magic. Uh, <laughs> it's a disappearing trick. So let me have my one. <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> of this. Especially with the height and the thickness here. He's gonna go for a high recovery. Try to get on the other side of the stage. Uh, there's a big parry. That is something that Onan has not been doing enough. Does finally take the stock with that dash attack. But we are still looking at quite a big deficit for him to overcome. And I'm just now realizing the more that I think about it, Onan just has not had a crazy parry game against Zamba. Partially because Zamba hasn't approached him as much, but I think partially just because that's a really, really big tool to have against Rob in particular. Yeah, and it, and it could really be because of those walls just acting as the makeshift cover as the up tilt does connect, but a high anvil to allow Zamba just to react and just reset back onto the stage. The uh, the, uh, the gyro actually acting as some cover there too to avoid the minecart and catching him underneath the platform with the up smash. What an amazing turnaround though, only taking 38% on that second stock. And Zamba, I mean, it's just a pendulum that's swinging back and forth with these two in terms of momentum, right? It seemed like Onan had everything handled, and then Zamba fought back pretty well, and then all Onan back to all Zamba in that game four, and the decisive game five will go to Pokemon Stadium 2 in front of the big Jumbotron oh, yeah. in the Pokemon world. And Onan switching it up to the Alex. Maybe it's just for the stage, maybe it's just because he feels a little bit Swedish. Sometimes you gotta just cycle through the cool uh, skins too. I, I, I love Steve's skins. The fact that there's so much, you know, between the zombie, the Enderman, I, I love it. Absolutely. Love it. I would pay for DLC to let me put my own Minecraft skin in the right? game. I mean, it seems like a slam dunk, but <laughs> nonetheless, Onan sticking with one of the classics and trying to get things started on Pokemon Stadium 2. Zomba working with a lot of momentum after winning that game four. And it is really, really tough to bring it back against somebody who is just so decisive like he is. You see him getting rid of these blocks here too now. Trying to play around Onan's space, the, avoiding the uh, anvil, gets the grab as Onan meets his way on the other side of that wall, despite his crafting table being on the other side. <laughs> At least that real quick. He's got a good amount of wood to work with here. I wonder if Onan's using this TNT as well, dropping out of disadvantage to stop Zombo from tossing out things like the neutral layer in the back here, because that puts him in a lot of danger, mm. potentially blowing himself up for big damage, and we've seen it almost come into play a couple of times. Minecart now coming in, gonna be able to avoid it. The back air gonna meet him. Getting a lot of these punishes upon landing onto Onan has been insane too, because you see Onan's not really being reserved and not only waiting on these blocks, but not really getting, getting onto the ledge get ledge invincibility, but with Zamba playing underneath them, he has to look out for those anvils. Not able to send Onan off stage either as he does take the first stock, but Zamba firing back immediately. Two stocks apiece and the crowd is coming alive. There, gets the diamond here ready now. The down tilt, ooh. Talk about some damage. Oh, he re-grabbed the gyro at the very end. You saw the uh, fair coming in from Onan. Jabs, though, doing a lot of work for Zamba here on the second stock. Hit him out of the minecart as well, but no big follow-ups to come. Oh, Onan nice high recovery. recovery. But Zamba's still on top of him. He's ready. He's ready to catch him. He's ready to get the follow-up into these uppers. Try to shark him with another one. The air dots is going to allow Onan to get the ledge invincibility. invincibility. Play by the side. Air dodge down into the ground though, Onan ready to cover it. Bit of an unsafe landing and he's right on top of him with that pickaxe. It's almost enough to take that stock. Zamba hanging on for dear life as he tries to take the lead. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, wow. I thought for sure he held on to that. Yeah, same. I mean, it looked like he was going slow, but I guess it wasn't the right DI, at least at the very end. But of course, you also are worried about uh, rage when it comes to Onan, aside from the fact that he's also got the diamond with that back there. In the minecart though, big starter for Onan, and he is going to take him all the way to 44%. Possibly even a little bit of more extra credit due for oh. Onan, but the pickaxe breaks on his head, and Zamba turns it around, not quite for a stock. Look at the materials though, he doesn't really have a lot of materials to work with here. He's got zero, literally. Where are you going? You're forced to recover. You can't mix up your recovery with any blocks, because you have nothing to work with. It's poof! Poof, you're gone. On to last stock. For both of these players, it's game five last stock. Only oh. one of them can move on to winner's finals. 
And Zamba putting on some pressure against that wall. Owen trying to fight his way back to center stage. And the crowd is letting everybody know who they're behind. I love it. I love the energy right here. You saw the nair. You saw the wave from Zamba. More damage coming in as Odin forces his way, jumping right above the wall with the fair. Zamba maneuvering around that minecart beautifully as well with Gyro in hand, trying to take the stage back. Oh. Onan has no iron right now. He has got to find some to put into that inventory so that he can fight out of these dangerous situations. Oh, he's trying so hard, but he, see Zamba's not letting him. Forcing his way down, 121. He finally manages to have some time to get the diamond, which is the win con that Onan's relying on. And Samba's maneuverability is so good. He is not let, getting caught by any stray hits. And Onan just trying to get a few more materials for this end game. He is in the house. Oh no, no, Samba needs to slow things down now that he's got the material that he needs right now. And now that he's also got the diamond, you have to watch out for the backer. You have to watch out from trying to shark underneath him because you know that Anvil is going to come out as well. Again, avoiding these minecarts beautifully, but Onan has him at the ledge now. Zamba opting for that high recovery, and again, tons of materials for Onan. What is he gonna do? He's not gonna jump around it. He doesn't wanna get hit by the back air. Yeah, he's got the platform here. He's got the back air to destroy the blocks. He snipes him. He did go for a high jump. He tried to recover with the mic He recovers that below, but the back air coming in to sneak in. He's gonna be able to take it on top. What an amazing end game though between Onan and Zamba. Both of these players played that amazingly, the way that they had to, so slow to actually capitalize off of an opening. Just dancing around each other, and at the end, Onan's gonna come out on top, but that game could have gone either way. If you replayed those last few seconds Oof. over and over and over again, you would have had a different winner every single time and in different ways. But this time, Onan comes out on top. He's moving on to winner's finals and just by demonstrating some clutch. That was, I mean, there's just a barrage of things hurtling in your direction that you have to think about. You have to think about the minecart. You have to think about Anvil into minecart, into back air, just in case as well. It's literally a wall of all the moves that can delete that stock at that percent. Zamba slowing his pacing down, though, at the very end. I mean, that was insane. Hey, we got <laughs> oh, nice shirt, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, would you, you get that at uh, Miami Beach? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh. I live in Daytona, but...